Abu Dhabi is allowing people to access the technology behind its new AI platform for free. However, the decision to offer the country's Falcon 40B model as open source is dividing the tech community. Some say it'll boost innovation. Others fear it could be used to spread misinformation. I've been talking to Faisal Albani, Secretary General of Abu Dhabi's Advanced Technology Research Council. AI space is at the moment at an interesting pivotal point, and the world needs more solutions out there to enable more players to interact, whether the research community or the business community. And I think with what we've announced, there are two really main announcements. Is we're making an AI model that is reasonably powerful, available as an open source, and at the same time, it's available for the research community and the business community which really ties into the second announcement we have, which is we're announcing a call for proposals where anyone that has an innovative use case or application to build on LLM models, to build on the Falcon model, we would be interested to invest in compute power to enable such use case to, be, to come to light. And I think with that, we really enable a vast community of people to deliver exceptional solutions at a much rapid pace. So what is the significance of it being open source? The fact that it is open source, it means, um, one, when uh, people are, are leveraging the platform and the weights that we are releasing, it means they can put it on their compute, their own compute power, they can start uh, experimenting with it, they can start uh, doing modifications to it without having to really be sitting on our server in that regard. Two, we are giving a lot of data and parameters to this, including data sets, training data sets, and the weights, which makes it much more transparent to companies or research community in terms of how the platform works and how would you want to tweak it going forward. So it makes a big difference between that and a closed platform where you don't really know how can you really modify it yourself. You're just a user of it. What kind of things is this being used for now, and how might it change all of our lives? I think LLM in general, and you know, including the Falcon model, uh, is, is really a foundational model, which means it's a model that will enable many type of use cases, whether it's for healthcare, uh, use cases to diagnose diseases, or to provide better advice, or to read you know, MRI scans in, in that regard, whether it is in the biotech field for medicine and medicine discovery, whether it's in coding. I think you can use it in, today LLMs can be used in multiple fields and we're just at the beginning. And the release of such platform and the incentive we are providing to provide compute power for programs that we think are innovative, I think is only there to be able to accelerate the growth that people can really enjoy from leveraging AI models such as this LLM model. Will people trust a model that's um, been developed by a government? I think the, the perfect answer for that is by releasing the weights, by releasing the data sets, and by making many parameters available for people to be able to modify, change, install it on their own servers and play, it clearly shows that as ATRC and in Abu Dhabi and the UAE, we're really contributing to the, to the international community, to the ecosystem, and we're making platforms that they can really take and further play with and modify themselves. I mean, it's not really linked into our servers. Eric Schmidt, the uh, former boss of Google, has given an interview um, where he says um, AI has the power to kill many people. I mean, these, these are difficult words, aren't they? I mean, what, what's your view on how AI should be regulated and how close are we do you believe we are to a point where it could be dangerous i think uh, the the debate on ai uh, especially that now again we are at that inflection point where the adoption of ai is increasing at an exponential speed in the, in the more recent months uh, definitely there has to be more of a consortium to look at how do you put the right regulations around AI? It's a classical case where technology is running fast, and now regulations and other things need to catch up and really put in some parameters in place. So 
yes, I think there's a need for regulation. I think, yes, uh, like any technology, it can be used for in, in, in many areas uh, in, in, in this regard. And like what's mentioned by Eric Smith and others, is this is a concern. But at the same time, there is so much good that is happening for this technology. And every entity around the world, including Google, are actively moving fast forward on this AI platforms and leveraging AI.